Hell Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of Pokemon Dark Violet. If you haven't been enjoying the series so far, go ahead, drop a like. If you are new to my channel and would like to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications just so you wouldn't miss an upload. And if you have no idea what's going on, be sure to check out the previous episode just so you know what the baby is going on. I believe that is all I have to say. But anyhow, in the last episode, it was eventful and dark. Quite dark, actually. Because of Giovanni. Wanting to punish everybody and... Kanto. <laughs> but anyway, since we have the, uh, self scope, now we can go to Lavender Town's Pokemon Tower. And we are still going to try our best to train up Bolt. Wait, what is its ability? Quick feet, up speed if suffering. Okay. Also, does the stone merchant have new stones? Royal stone? Okay. A particular stone that makes certain species of Pokemon evolve. It is transparent with a blue core. Okay. Sunstone, Moonstone. No, me it's dust. Okay. My bad. What do you do? Oh, you delete Pokemon's moves. Oh. Hidden power, heal, sunny day, rain dance. Nah. And let's go through here. I am surprised I haven't found a leperberry tree. Let's heal up. I am a channeler. Spirits are sensed them high. Okay. <laughs> Let's bring on the mind. I got train up. Hey, look, an item. Mistrevious. Okay. 
Chandler Carly. Already, from the dusk. Nice slash. Hunter, nice slash. Another escape room. Oh, Vulpix, okay, bring in Polyrath. Flamethrower, lovely. Not. And no step burn. Bubble Beam. Ghastly! Switch to Bolt. Then switch back to... Well, switch to Dusk. Aha! No effect! Nice slash. I honestly can't wait for a next day, uh, a next new ROM, ROM hack with a different story. Let's see, get rid of Tackle. Because so far, Dark Violet. Great game. Okay, awakening. An ultra ball. Okay. Oh, ball picks. Uh, sure, let's capture a ball pick. And we got that paralysis, let's go. Uh-oh. Is Bolt gonna survive? Yep. Let's use that ultra ball, let's go. Two, three. And we got Bolt picks, let's go. I know exactly what to name you. I'm gonna name you... Kitsune. I hope I spell it right. An elixir, let's go. Good thing I bought the Firestone. Be cursed with me! Qua! Alright, that was terrible. Bring in Dusk again. And Faint Attack. Hunter! Whoops, I used wing attack, but that is fine. You know what? Um, since I have the scope lens, I'm going to give it to Bolt. Oops, I went downstairs instead. Another ball picks. A ghastly. 
ghost, no! Okay. Bring in Polarat. Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam. Uh oh. Where's the ghost? Finally I have spot to heal. Hey look an item. Run away. Cleanse tag. Okay, everybody's healed. Bring in dusk, faint attack, faint attack again. A nugget! Sweet! I am surprised Jolteon can outspeed a Pokemon over le level 30. That is a surprising. And Bolt can definitely do some damage to a level 38. Because, wow. I cannot believe that. And bubble beam. Whoo. Okay then. Go away, Ghastly. Oops. Bring in dust. That did nothing whatsoever. Nice slash. Level thirty, awesome. Now I think I'm starting to think maybe I don't know. Maybe Bolt can be capable of battling now. I don't know, let's test that out. Thunderbolt. Got that paralysis. One more Thunderbolt. Already done. Over here, that's dead end. Switch to dust. Yes, switch to dust. Yeah, um, Jolteon is more than capable of handling himself now. Uh, 
I mean, its attack and speed is excellent, so that's a good thing. And... Well, let's try. It may not KO. That almost KO. Well, shit. Well, let's go back. But first... Well, where is the black flute? There it is. Wait, what? That's weird. Full picks, that is fine. Haunter, that is fine too. Why is the black flute not working? Let's try it. Let's... Give me blood. Nope. Can't have blood, ma'am. I'm sorry. Nice shade. Nice shade again. Omega stone, huh? Omega stone. A peculiar stone that makes certain species of Pokemon evolve. It is said to bring out potential. Okay. Well, let's switch. Another red candy. Run away. Oh my lord. Get out. Leave this place. It's a Marowak. Level 40. Raise a leaf. Uh-oh. The ghost was the restless spirit of Baby Cubone's mother. The very Marowak that Team Rocket killed on Route 10. The mother's spirit was calmed. It departed into the laughter life. Ap afterlife. Speak! Uh...
Okay. Run away. There's Cameron and Giovanni. I just knew it. No matter what we do, you'll always be there. I'll never understand how you're even alive after what we did to you on the SSN. By messing with us once again, you are putting your life in great danger. I'm going to scare you for good. Uh, 41. Uh oh. Come on, Bolt. And we got that paralysis. Let's go. I know we're going out speed. Come on. Let's go. Bolt is power. Need arena. Sure. Uh, dig. And grab a quick drink. And I'm poison. Lovely. What? So I'm guessing flatter is much worse than any other move that causes confusion. And it's always going to hurt itself. <coughs> Espeon. Sure, let's bring in dust. And faint attack. Hunter. Nope. <coughs> Sorry about that. And Haunter is down, let's go. You are so annoying! Why are we here, you ask? I guess I'll tell you that much. Mr. Fuji has information on the legendary Pokemon. I'm putting an end to your crimes. You thugs are planning to take over the Kanto region, and I will not allow it. Uh, and who might you be? My name is Daisy. I am the granddaughter of Professor Oak, and I'm the new gym leader of Viridian City. Holy shit, she's the new gym leader of Viridian City. Holy shit, I didn't know that. <laughs> that was a surprise. I will take you down with my Earth-loving Pokemon. You're the gym leader of Radiant City? What a pitiful replacement you are. My time as the gym leader of Radiant City was getting in the way of my plans for Kanto, so I resigned that position. I've always wondered who my successor was going to be. 
I must say I was I am support di disappointed. Now step aside, Daisy. Let me speak to your friend, Red. I am quite surprised that you continue to oppose my organization even after I revealed the Devil's Prism to you. Do you realize how much power I will attain once the Devil's Prism can control the legendary Pokemon? Surely you do not want to be punished when the time comes. Unfortunately, you are a bit late in coming here. I have attained obtained more information on legendary pokemon thanks to mi mr fuji my work here is done stay out of trouble red red i'm so sorry that i was late at least team rocket finally left and yes i was telling that woman the truth i am the new gym leader of radiant city I'm heading to Viridian City right now. It would make my day if your fifth gym... But if I was your fifth gym leader match... Man, I cannot speak now. There, I healed your Pokemon. You better stop by. Hee <laughs> hee, smell you later. Mr. Fuji, please tell me about the Axis and its relation to both Island. Hmm, alright then. There is a mysterious triangular stone tablet that lies on both Island. According to the prophecy of the triangular stone tablet, when any remnant of the certain space virus is taken to both Island, the stone tablet will produce a laser beam that will create the Oxus missing body. So if one were to find the remnant of that space virus, would both island be the only way to restore the Oxus? Not necessarily. If one were to find a way to harness the same type of materials, minerals, Found on both islands, they would be able to replicate the same kind of laser beam. Mr. Fuji, Giovanni is working on a machine called the Devil's Prism. I'm positive that the sole purpose of the Devil's Prism is to create the laser beam that will restore Deoxys' body. If Giovanni were to obtain Deoxys, he would unleash great pain upon the citizens of Kanto. He must be stopped at all costs. Yes, yes, I understand the severity of the situation. However, if you are trying to stop Team Rocket alone, I must say that I am worried for you. I have observed that you don't treat your Pokemon with much care. If you carry on like that, you can't possibly stand up to Team Rocket. Giovanni is very powerful, even without Team Deoxys. A long time ago, when Gio Giovanni was just 16 years old, he, has, he was given his first Pokemon by Professor Oak. Giovanni traveled through the Kanto region and defeated the gym leaders of the time. And he even went on to challenge the Elite Four. As champion of the Kanto region, I battled him and was impressed by his great skill. I offered him a position as the gym leader of Bradian City, too, which he accepted. And he held that position until only recently. Giovanni is a powerful man. And a young boy such as yourself does not stand a chance. Now if you excuse me, I would like to thank someone. You came to save me. Thank you. But I came here of my own free will. I was never taken hostage. That was just a scare tactic by Team Rocket. I came here to calm the spirit of 
Cubone's mother, to which Team Rocket found out and infiltrated the tower to get information out of me. Giovanni wanted to contact me because he knew I was involved in a terrible accident that occurred 13 years ago. I don't think I've introduced myself to you yet. Call me Mr. Fuji. I am the current champion of the Cantor region, but I am retiring in order to spend more time caring for orphaned or abandoned Pokemon. I must thank you for calming my wax spirit. I think she knows by now that Cubone is in good hands. This might be of use to you. And we get a Poke Flute. Sweet! The Poke Flute can be used by... to wake up any sleeping Pokemon. It might even be able to wake up the Snorlax that's blocking Diglett's cave near Vermilion City. Alas, my purpose here is done. I wish you good luck on the rest of your journey. Do visit me at my home sometime. It is right here in Lavender Town. That Mr. Fuji guy is the champion? He told me that I need to treat my Pokemon better. <laughs> if, he o if only he knew what my life was like. Red, I challenge you once again. Why must this always happen anymore? Uh, what's his Pokemon again? Okay, I am no match for that. Uh, bring in Venusaur. That does nothing, thank god. I'll tell you. Uh, okay. Bring in dusk. Are you kidding me? Uh, where's the pokey flute? Does that mean I can't use it? Well, that's lovely. Come on. Finally. Boy gone too. Let's bring in Polyrath. Book break. Book break again. Nidorino. Nah. And I'm going to pin myself. Book break. One more time. Well then. Raise a leaf. And we went. But I've strengthened my Pokemon to the top. How could this be? 
whatever. At least Team Rocket has consistently proved how pathetic they are. Giovanni is never going to succeed at Cats in the Legendary Pokemon. Just you wait. Alrighty then. Uh. This is where I'm going to wrap things up and end the episode. Oh, there it is. Seriously, I can't use it in battle. But anyway, this is where I'm going to end this episode and wrap things up. If you have enjoyed this episode so far, go ahead, drop a like. If you are new to my channel and would like to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you would never miss an upload and I would really appreciate it. And by doing that, that will help this channel grow. So anyway, that's all I have for now and I will see you guys next time.